Do you see it? Can you see it? Do you want to see it? I did not see it at first. And then, I didn't want to see it. Our world is connected more than we realize, or in many cases, want to realize. This past summer, I was fortunate to have an amazing opportunity to study Italian culture, history, and language. But instead, I found myself drawn into the stories of people continents away. It started as I walked through the beautiful streets of Rome, and as I saw the beauty, I also saw something else. I saw desperate faces. I saw different people. I saw what everyone else and myself tried to ignore. Migrants. When I first arrived in Italy, I planned on doing two things. Immersing myself as fully as I could in the Italian culture and goofing around with the other students on the trip. And I certainly did just that. But despite my best attempts to not let migrants ruin my immersive Italian study abroad experience, I found that curiosity got the best of me. When I started asking the TA questions about the migrants, he told me I was asking dangerous questions and that I should just appreciate the beauty of Italy. But I couldn't ignore what I saw, and I decided that I would learn the stories behind their invisible faces, and so began my journey through the dark side of globalization. My first few attempts to talk to migrants were unsuccessful with many literally running from me or texting their migrant friends warning that I was asking questions. But finally, with the help of Gelato and a translator, I was able to hear their amazing stories. These men and women had fled from crushing unemployment and violence in Africa to find wealth in Europe for their families. Their journey begins in crossing the dangerous deserts in Western Africa to get to Libya. One half will die before they even reach the Mediterranean. Once they reach the sea, they must pay a human trafficker thousands to put them on a boat meant for 30 with 200 others. Most will die at sea, either from capsizing or from attrition. The migrants depend on the Italian Navy to rescue them, and because of EU laws, the Italians must take them to Italy. Once in Italy, the migrants slowly move northward, looking for employment in a country already with high unemployment. I wondered where the migrants got their trinkets to sell, where they lived, and how they survived. The migrants definitely wouldn't tell me, but Dartmouth was able to provide me with someone who would. His name was Amir Issa, an Italian rapper whose father was from Northern Africa. Amir told us that most migrants you see are connected to the Italian Mafia. Selling trinkets to tourists is not enough to get by or provide for their families in Africa. Most sell or smuggle drugs for the Mafia, or worse, transport hazardous waste from European industrial companies who cannot or will not pay the amount required to dispose of the waste in an eco-friendly manner. The waste is dumped into the Italian countryside, leaving beautiful Italian farmland toxic and the migrants deformed. I asked Amir where the drugs and trinkets came from, and after a little prodding, he told me that there was a black market somewhere near the Termini train station. He said that most trinkets are made by not so ethical means somewhere in Asia. So before going myself, I decided to ask several migrants to see if this information was correct. And when they abruptly stood up and left, I believed that it was. So armed with curiosity and stupidity, I went down to Termini to try and find the market. But eventually, had to get out when a group of homeless migrants started following me in a tunnel. While in the end I didn't see the market, I gained something far more valuable, a better perspective of the world around me. As the global economy grows bigger and bigger, it seems like our world gets smaller and smaller. And as we become closer, we lose a part of what makes us unique. Entire continents are now interlinked and dependent on each other. Today, I keep with me that one simple bracelet as a reminder of the hope and the dreams of people thousands of miles away.